Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode of my podcast Explore and Engage with Anam. California, the state of California, it's a sanctuary state. The liberal politicians in the state of California labeled the state as a sanctuary state. And what does a sanctuary state mean? It means anyone who shows up in the state of California will find sanctuary. They will find a place to stay. They will not be pushed out of the state. They will not be sent away. That's what a sanctuary state means. Anyone who shows up looking for sanctuary, they will find sanctuary in the state of California. I've talked about New York City before. New York City is a sanctuary city. I've talked about the city of Chicago before. The city of Chicago is a sanctuary city. Similarly, California is a sanctuary state according to liberal politicians of California. And yet, the liberal California politicians seem to be pretty upset about migrants being sent to California. That doesn't make any sense. Why should they be upset? If migrants are showing up in California looking for sanctuary, why are the liberal politicians so upset? I mean, I can understand there are, there are many other states in the country. There are many other states that are not sanctuary states. There are many states that are governed by leaders who do not support the idea of a sanctuary city or a sanctuary state. If migrants showed up in those cities and states that are not sanctuary cities and states, then I understand that the leaders of those cities and states have reasons to be upset. But this is California that we are talking about. California is a sanctuary state. The liberals in California made California a sanctuary state. They labeled California as a sanctuary state. Now, why are those liberals, those liberal politicians so upset? Why are they so upset that migrants are now showing up in California? It doesn't make any sense to me. Governor Gavin Newsom, shouldn't he be happy that migrants are showing up in California? But he doesn't seem to be very happy now. Let me tell you what happened. It is being reported that Florida officials have sent migrant flights to California. Reportedly, multiple migrant flights have been sent to California in recent days, and it's being reported that Florida officials are the ones who sent these migrant flights to California. Now, shouldn't the liberal politicians in California be happy? that they got what they asked for. If the liberals in California, if they say that California is a sanctuary state, and then if migrants, migrants start coming to California, now it seems that those same liberals are not happy about it. But why? I don't know, my friends. Do you want to share with me your thoughts? Please do so. Go to tossifanam.net. Send me a message. Find me on social media. Send me a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are. Reportedly, the Attorney General of California is looking into possible legal actions against Florida officials. But why? Why are liberal politicians in California so upset that Florida officials have sent multiple migrant flights to California? As I said, what is a sanctuary state? I have to say it again, my friends, because this is the fact. And the fact is that liberal politicians in California, they are the ones responsible for labeling California as a sanctuary state. And now, when migrants are showing up, it seems that Governor Gavin Newsom is not happy about it. It seems that um, there are other liberals who are not happy about migrants coming to California. Why does Governor Gavin Newsom have a problem with that? L let me tell you something, my friends. 
if Governor Newsom does not like migrants going to California, then he should publicly say that. Governor Gavin Newsom should publicly say that he does not want migrants showing up in California. Maybe he should give a public statement and say that California will no longer be a sanctuary state. Maybe he should just do a press conference and say, California will no longer be a sanctuary state. But is he going to do that? Is Governor Gavin Newsom going to remove the sanctuary state label from California? Can you guess if he's going to do that? It doesn't seem very likely to me. If you ask me to guess, I would say he's probably not going to remove the sanctuary state label from California. Now, that's my guess. I could be wrong. Share with me your thoughts. Let me know what you think. Maybe if Governor Gavin Newsom really doesn't like migrants showing up in California, maybe he should make a public statement and ask the Biden administration to secure the southern border. Is Governor Gavin Newsom going to do that? Why is he complaining? Why is Governor Gavin Newsom complaining about migrants showing up in California? Why does the Attorney General of California, uh, why is he looking into possible legal actions against Florida officials? Florida is not a sanctuary state. Texas is not a sanctuary state. But sadly, Texas is facing tremendous difficulties because Texas is a border state and because of Biden administration's policies, migrants, foreign nationals are crossing the southern border and entering the United States and many of these foreign nationals, once they cross the border and they enter the United States, many, many, many of them are in Texas because Texas is a huge state and it's a border state. So Texas, the people of Texas, are facing tremendous challenges because of this massive influx of foreign nationals who are just crossing the border and entering, entering our country. But Texas is not a sanctuary state. Florida is not a sanctuary state. California is a sanctuary state, according to liberal politicians from, from the state of California. And now those same politicians seem to be complaining that migrants are, are going to California. Why? My friends, I believe in border security. I believe in our nation's sovereignty. I believe that we should secure the border. I believe that we should stop this flow of foreign nationals who are coming, uh, who are walking across the southern border and entering our country. I believe in the legal immigration process, legal immigration. If foreign nationals want to come to the United States to live and work here, they should do so through the proper immigration process. We need to secure our southern border. We need to stop this massive flow of foreign nationals entering our country by walking across the southern border. I believe in border security. Sadly, the Biden administration has not enforced our nation's immigration laws. The administration has not enforced, uh, has, has not, the Biden administration has not secured the southern border of the United States. My friends, that's all I have for today's episode. Share with me your thoughts and comments. Let me know what you think. And I'll mention my website again, tossifanam.net. Go to my website, check it out. You can send me a message. You can sign up for my free e-newsletter. If you go to my website on the homepage, you scroll down to the bottom. There is a location where you can enter your email address and you can sign up for my free e-newsletter. Thank you for staying connected with me. Thank you for listening to my podcast. Share with me your thoughts, and I hope to be back again with a new episode very soon.